Listen, when it comes to all the madness surrounding Kate Middleton, you know what the Royals do? They just keep calm and they carry on. Welcome to Entertainment Tonight. Michelle Turner is outside Buckingham Palace with our royal correspondent, Katie Nichol. Hey, ladies. Hey, Kevin. Yeah, greetings from across the pond. Katie, we've got a lot to talk about, so let's get right to this, okay? First off, what are your sources telling you about how Will and Kate are doing right now? Well, I think there is definitely a sense of frustration. This is a couple that love to control the narrative. So frustration, I think pretty upset actually as well. You alluded to the Kate Spiracy theories. I don't know if you've heard the latest one, but it's that the King has kidney cancer and Kate donated one of her kidneys. Do you think the royals pay attention to these stories at all and all of this frenzy that's happening? Well, I was speaking to someone at the palace only yesterday um, and they really did have their head in their hands. Such was the ludicrousness of some of these stories. Social media just seems to take on a life of its own. We both saw that TMZ video. She looked really good in it. And now there are new reports that she could possibly be working from home. What do you know about that? Well, I'm told she is working from home. My understanding is that as soon as she was well enough, she has been sort of just gently dipping her toe back into the world of work. These rumors that we're gonna see her possibly over Easter Sunday and when the royal family do traditionally go to church. When you think back to that video, you know, the thing that struck me was that she was walking at quite a pace. She didn't look frail. Um, and I wonder if that might just be a really lovely soft launch to her return back to work. Let's talk about Harry and Meghan for a second. I wasn't being thrown to the wolves, I was being fed to the wolves. Is there any chance that they are being kind of kept in the loop well, but the short answer is no, because there's a massive breakdown of trust between the two brothers. William worries that anything he says could be then sort of filtered out through Harry or Meghan or their spin doctors. Let's talk about who has become kind of the face of the monarchy right now, and that's Queen Camilla. She really has been front and center, especially stepping up for the king. In America, people are joking that it's like she's become the victor in this Game of Thrones kind of saga. This picture of Camilla, House of Caucasian Dragon, is the look of a woman who long conned everyone. I think the metamorphosis of Queen Camilla has been remarkable when you consider sort of 25 years ago she was the reviled mistress. I think in that we're seeing in Queen Camilla what we saw in Queen Elizabeth, duty before self. 